It's Daniel here and what we're going to look at today is installing the workshop add-ons for Street Legal Racing Redline from Steam. First you need to make sure that Steam is running. And once Steam is running, go to your library. And we need to make sure that the automatic updates are turned on. So right click on Street Legal Racing Redline and choose Properties. Click the Updates tab and make sure that always keep this game up to date or the high priority update functions are selected. Go ahead and close that and click on the Browse the Workshop button here. We're going to Browse Cars and I haven't installed this, so let me just click here. It tells you subscribe to download. So people usually get this far and then don't know what else to do with it. So go ahead and click the subscribe button. And you'll notice down at the bottom here, it's actually downloading already. Once that's completed, just use your back button in the browser here. Back to your library. And then you can go ahead and right click on the game again and choose properties. This time clicking the local files tab and then the browse local files button. Takes you to the games installation directory. Scrolling to the bottom, we find the workshop installer. You can go ahead and run that. What it's doing here is it's loading all of the items that I have already subscribed to including the one that I just did. And so that you can better see it, I'm going to maximize the window here. I'm going to select the Ford Fairlane 500 that I just subscribed to. It tells me, yes, I've subscribed to it. No, I haven't installed it. So that's how you uh, can differentiate in the list what you have installed and what you haven't installed yet. So as mentioned, once it's selected, go ahead and click Install. And here it tells me it's installed successfully. Once that's installed, you can click the OK here. You can close the program. Just as a side note, I have also created a shortcut on the desktop to the workshop installer to make it quicker. But once you do that, you don't have to browse your local files for the workshop installer. You can go ahead and close everything down. Uh, Steam still needs to be running for the game, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and load the game here. You can see that the Fairlane is actually installed. And that's all there is to it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, certainly you can leave them in the comment section and I will do my best to give you a hand.